What's up all you beautiful, gorgeous, sick sight people out there, welcome back to another NBA 2K15 My GM with your Cleveland Cavaliers. Last episode we took on the Detroit Pistons and we got the W. They were an old name, one from way back, early 2000s era, back when LeBron was just starting out. But today we're facing off against an even worse foe. The Boston Celtics, a team I personally hate before LeBron left. You know, the Celtics had Paul Pierce, they had Ray Allen, they had Kevin Garnett, they had Rajon Rondo, and they had LeBron James's number. They were ultimately probably the reason that LeBron left Cleveland, among other reasons. So hopefully we can get the W here today against a not so great Celtics team, but they still have Rondo. They have Jeff Green on their team. Rondo hasn't been traded yet. He hasn't gone off to the Mavericks. He's open in the corner for three. Marcus Smart's going to nail that shot from deep in the queue. Frosty Rewind. I had originally intended this video guys to come out on Friday, come out yesterday, but unfortunately I'm having a lot of difficulty finding an editing program, finding a video program because right now I ran out of my trial, I ran out of being able to use Camtasia, so hopefully I can find something like that. Right now I'm using a, another Camtasia trial, free trial, so hopefully I can find a trial or a video editing software program that's going to work. So videos might be a little bit delayed until I can find something that works. I don't really have enough money right now to be able to afford, you know, the bigger like Sony Vegas or to be able to afford any Adobe Premiere or the Pro. I, I'm not really able to afford that right now, so bear with me. I'm going to try my best. The channel's not going anywhere. I just might be a little bit delayed or the quality might drop slightly until I'm able to figure out what I can use and how to work with these editing programs and how to make the best quality content that I can. But anyways, guys, you know, I just wanted to make sure you guys know that. That's why there's been a little bit of delay and that why there, that's why there might be another continuous in the delays until I'm able to find something that really works with my computer because my computer is not the best software out there it's not the best hardware I mean out there and it's really hard for me to find software that can really render quickly and be able to produce high quality content to the best of my ability that's why I'm not uploading you know 1080p or anything like that right now but anyways guys I wanted to I wanted just to let you guys know that I didn't really want to focus too much on that. So after the first quarter, we're down by one point. It's a close, tight-knit game. It's a tough game, as you would expect. A rivalry, an intense rivalry to go against Boston. Even though they're not as good as they used to be, they're still a formidable opponent, especially in this game right here with Rondo. They can do magic. They can do magical things. And Jeff Green, I get the steal right here. Now I'm going the opposite way. I see Bradley Beal, the former, not Bradley Beal, Avery Bradley, the former Celtic himself, going off, kicking it down to Kevin. Kevin, back in that big old booty up, and he gets pushed down. Come on, Kevin. What was that? That was some weak sauce. Kevin with the weak sauce. One thing I didn't really notice until they actually started playing them is I, this is the team I traded Anderson Verge out to. So we have these old foes, the Boston Celtics, and now Anderson Verge out could be a thorn in my side. He could want his vengeance. They're going to miss that shot right there. I get the rebound with Kevin Love. Kyrie pushing it up the floor. Rest, 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 rest. Rest, rewind. Anderson Verja could be a new foe with these old foes, so hopefully he doesn't prove to be a thorn on my side. Hopefully we can dispense of these Celtics rather quickly, rather easily. Pushing it up, back up the floor. Kyrie Irving going for the lob! That would have been dirty, that would have been sick, nasty, but I couldn't complete it. They're going the opposite way, and they're going to complete that from Gerald Wallace. He's going to hit the bucket. So now it's a 33-38 to 38 point game. I was starting to pull away a little bit. If you guys are a part of my stream and watch me against Golden State, I couldn't hit anything. I couldn't hit the bright side of the barn. I couldn't hit the bright side of the barn. I couldn't hit nothing. But luckily, in this game, it started to turn around. I started able to get some things going. Started able to hit those shots that I really need. Those three-pointers were key in this game, especially having Dion Waiters back because that's going to ignite our bench, ignite the light. As I keep saying, Katy Perry is out here. But anyways, you know, Dion Waiters is going to be able to come off the bench and get a spark for us and get that, those much-needed points that I've really been missing, that I've really been having struggle finding off the bench. And that's really key when we have and we are healthy. That's going to be key for us. Going with Avery Bradley, kicking it up. No, there's no one with the jump shot like a 15 footer almost look at Nerland Snow well showing his range 
Wide open. Perfect release. Dion Waiters with the bucket. Dion! So happy to have Dion back. I wish we could have traded him and maybe acquired another talent for his services and, you know, take his ser services to South Beach. But I wish we could have really acquired another talent for him, maybe a backup point guard, maybe someone along those lines, because that's a need that the Cavaliers have in real life right now as a backup point guard, even though they have Del Vadova. So here we go, guys. It's a tie game, 44-44. to It was really close-knit entering the second half. Anderson Verge on my nemesis, my new foe. He's going up over New Orleans Noel and nailing that shot. The man with the pubic hair on his face is starting to ignite the light, starting to get things going for the Celtics, and that's not what we need. Them getting down post or getting shots down low in the post and being able to score. All right, bag that big old booty up. Nope, popping it out. Kyrie from deep in the queue, hitting the three-pointer. Uno, dos, trace. Get blocked. Get out of here. Block party. JJ, or Jared Solinger, the former e Ohio State Buckeye. The Ohio State Buckeyes. Look at that. Buckeyes represent Buckeyes. There we go. Rondo trying to go one-on-one -on -one with Kyrie. He's going nowhere. And Marcus Smart. Three points from Marcus Smart. So many lead changes, so many lead changes. It's just going back and forth like a prize fight. Ali versus Frazier, that's what this is right now. But it's a prize fight, one-on-one -on -one with Rondo. I decided to clear out everyone, going to ISO, and I nail the basket. Rondo had great defense on me, but he was no, really no formidable opponent for Kyrie Irving in this game. Kyrie finished with like 50 points, something like that, something absurd. Kyrie really showed up today. Luckily, Kevin, on that pump fake, going up, pulling up. Pump fake, pump, 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 pump fake. There we go, Kevin. Let's call play right here. 76 first down on two, on two. Green, 14. Green, 14. Uh, hike. Kicking it out. Dion Waiters in the corner once again, hitting another three pointer. Dion Waiters from deep in the queue. Three points. That's going to give us a lead 58 to 57 late in the third quarter. Come on, Kevin. Back that big old booty up against Gerald Wallace. Fade away. Fade away. Buckets. All right, so Kevin's starting to come on too. Kyrie's starting to come on. That's really what we need, especially with LeBron being injured. LeBron's only going to be out for two to four more weeks, so hopefully we get something. Kevin going up, gets the nice, nice low post score for us. 62 to 59, we build up a three-point lead with 39 seconds left in the third quarter. Come on, guys, play some defense. Rondo going straight to the rim. Nobody's there to play defense, and they get an easy basket. It's a 62 to 61 game, guys, going into the fourth quarter so get your mother effing foes up get them up get them up get your mother effing foes up get ready because it's time to put these celtics away these old foes away i'm not trying to get the steal from old nick or whatever the heck his name is some random dude new orleans noel is not going to be able to get that shot because rondo is going to hit the three-pointer from deep in the quicken loans arena rajon rondo really has been a thorn in the side of cleveland cavaliers fans since his inception into the league since he was his birth into the league if you will two seconds left on the shot clock they're gonna miss that shot with an air ball air ball going the opposite way with kyrie irving top of the key one-on-one -on -one against rajon rondo clear everyone out nope passing it off to dion dion sizing up the man from ohio state and he's nailing that shot dion coming up big for the Cel or for the Cavaliers. I was about to say for the Celtics. I don't want him to come up big for the Celtics. Once again, Marcus Smart can't respond to the three-pointer. Jared Sollinger is going to get the and one. Let's see if Jared Sollinger can finish this off. Quick fact about Jared Sollinger. When he was a junior, I believe, in high school, his team went through my team to finish off the national or to finish off the state championship in the semifinals, I think. We faced them in the semifinals against Jared Sollinger. And I think they had Trey Burke on their team back then. But they went through my high school to get into the state finals. Two seconds left on the shot clock. Rajon Rondo pulling up from deep. Another air ball from Rajon Rondo. He looks like an Ethiopian. I'm just saying. No offense to any Ethiopians out there. But he kind of looks like an Ethiopian. No, not an Ethiopian. He looks like a freaking alien with those big old bug eyes. The big old bug eyes. Anyways, guys, one on one against Rajon Rondo. He's Rajon Rondo is a beast. I'm not even going to lie. I hate him. 
but he's really good, especially at creating offense. You know, he's not really a great scorer, but Rajon Rondo can, you know, shoot the basket or not shoot the basketball, can pass the ball off, can play defense, which is why he was a great pickup for the Dallas Mavericks, even though he looks like a freaking alien. I'm just saying, look at his eyes. His eyes, they're just so bug eyed. He's just staring at you with those big old bug eyes. Anyways, guys, three minutes left in the fourth quarter. Get ready. It's a tie game. We're going to have to pull away here. Kicking it down to Kevin. Going up against the man with the pube hair. And I'm backing down here. Sinvera John. He's playing great defense as Andy does well. Wild Thing can play defense. There's one thing he's great at. Rebounding and defense. Three minutes left in the fourth quarter. Rajon Rondo has Jeff Green in the corner. He's going to pass it back to Rajon Rondo. One on one against Kyrie. Marcus Smart has the ball. He drives against New Orleans well. And Anderson Verage out. The thorn of my side. The new foe on the old foe. Celtics are going to convert that shot. They're going to miss that floater. Not going to happen right there. 82 82. It's coming down to the last seconds of the game. I'm trying to get something going with Kyrie. He's pulling up. Perfect release. Nailed it. 84, 84, 42 seconds left. This game is winding down. Avery Bradley's open in the corner, and he cannot put the dagger in his old team. So here we go, guys. 30 seconds left. Marcus Smart over New Orleans Noel. He's going to miss that shot. And Anderson Fairjow has proven why we should have kept him. I'm going deep. I had to convert this. Oh, my God. I had to have the three-pointer. It was a 90-86 to 86 game. I had to have that. And... The Matrix is going to keep our prayers alive. So here we are on the inbound. We're going to have to foul Rondo. 90 to 88. He has to miss one of these. And he misses the first one. Now we have to hit a three-pointer if he converts this one. Come on, Rondo. Miss it. Miss it. Give me a shot. All right. We'll take it. 91 to 88. We need this shot. Closing down. 4.9 seconds left. Giving it to young Blood Irving. He's pulling up from three-point land. Perfect release. Nailed the buzzer beater to force overtime. Yeah, baby! 91 to 91 on that play. Rajon Rondo in the corner. You know, Kyrie Irving had a beast of a game on him. He's continuing that stout defense with the block there. We're going the opposite way. Two on two fast break. Kicking it down to Kyrie. And there's a flagrant foul. Marcus Smart getting the F. The flagrant foul. Let's see that replay. Just tackling me. Just tackling me. So that's two free shots and the ball. Give him a T. Take him out, coach. Take him out, ref. There's one. All right. There we go, Kyrie. Flagrant foul. I rarely have ever seen a flagrant foul. Foul in this game. Never seen a flagrant foul in this game whatsoever. So that's amazing. Two shots and we get the ball. And now Kyrie is just pissed off. He's PO'd. Now I'm going to drive one-on-one. -on -one. Come on. What do you want? What do you want, baby? Pulling up. Nailed it. 95-95, they cut that back down the lead. Rajon Rondo is not going to be able to get that shot. Avery Bradley, the former Celtics, is going to come up with a rebound. Come on, Kyrie. Come on, one-on-one. -on -one. It's Kyrie's game right now. Kyrie's game. But I see Avery Bradley in the corner, wide open. Three points. He puts the dagger into the Celtics. He shoves it in there. It's a 98-95 game with 49 seconds left in overtime. One of the best games we've had all season, especially one of the best games that you guys have been able to see all season. There's a block on the play from Sean, the Matrix Marion, going the opposite way. I <laughs> know. Look. Pass. Flashy pass to Avery Bradley. And he's going to finish off the Celtics with the dagger. Hopefully. 19 seconds left. 95 to 100. They're going to have to come up with a shot here. They're going to have to come up with some buckets. Three points. Marcus Smart forcing up the shot with a little time on the shot clock. 198. Man, this is a game. What a game. So there's 10 seconds left. You know they're going to try foul me. I hit the ball. I get the ball to Kyrie. Kyrie is just going to run circles. Run circles, Kyrie. Loop-de-loop. Loop-de-loop. -loop. They're not going to be able to catch me. We're killing all of the clock. And we win the game 198 in OT. Wow. Anyways, guys, stay frosty and I love you.